hope I have these lights correctly. And I purchased new lights, a new ring light that's supposed to be top of the line to show the colors as accurately as possible. Got a new soft light and hopefully it's, it's going to show the colors a lot better. We'll see. You let me know. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I've got a brand new style from Aesthetica. This is Brighton that I'm going to be unboxing here for you. It's, I'd like to thank Shirley from Shirley's Wig Shop for providing Brighton for me so I could review it for all of you. The link to Brighton will be listed down below for you in the description box. The one that I'm wearing right now is one of my favorite aestheticas. I'm wearing Haven in the color C Kiss RT4. This is over a year old. It's one of my wigs that I wear the most. I love it. It's easy to wear. It's regular synthetic fibers and I'm actually wearing it for the beginning of this video so we could take a look at the color and see how it differs from the heat friendly fibers that are that are is being introduced now to Aesthetica. I know that many don't like heat friendly fibers but there are many wearers out there that are just like me that prefer heat friendly fibers. Just because we prefer the feel of them, we prefer that the lack of shine and the ability to be able to style it however we like. So for those of you that love heat-friendly fibers, thank you Aesthetica for providing them to us. Okay, right. it looks like the ear, uh, the lace front is from uh, ear to ear. We have a left part. Doesn't seem to have too much permatease on there. Felt covered ear tabs. And we have an extended nape, new to Aesthetica that we've always had that hook adjusters. On Brighton, we have Velcro adjusters. This one is, as I mentioned, in the color, the same color as my Haven C Kiss RT4. These are heat friendly fibers. These are regular synthetic fibers. I see a lot of highlights going through. However, Aesthetica did say that this is similar to Wren. I'll also enclose a picture of Wren. Okay. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and it feels a little bit big on me. So I am going to adjust it. However, I don't feel it as large as, or I don't feel it has as much stretch as of my other aestheticas but i am going to cinch it in almost to the center okay that is much better crazy hair but you know you know that i'm going to fix it oh this is pretty this is really really pretty i'm going to take some water separate the fibers it's not a face flopper because we have heat friendly fiber, it's going to go in the direction that we basically uh, place the, the fibers. That's how it is with most heat friendly fibers. So if you wanted to add a bang, it's there and you could just trim it a little. You could leave it side swept. The color looks amazing. Nice bob with waves and layers. Oh yeah, this is really, really pretty. I don't feel much of any permatease. If it has any, it's minimal. I'm sure it has some, but it's, it's minimal. It doesn't feel poofy. It doesn't feel pillowy. And usually on a left mono part on Aesthetica, we usually have that permatease to the right of it but I'm not feeling it here. Yeah, just with a little bit of water and I think it's perfect. If you wanna add some sea salt spray, you could add a little bit of Aesthetica sea salt spray if you wanna piece it out a little bit more. If you wanna curl it is what I mean. I didn't think I was going to like it for, for me. I thought it was pretty, but I didn't think it was something that I would really like to wear, but I gotta tell you, I really like it. Let me show it to you on all sides and then we'll take a look and see what the lace front looks like. Okay. 
I think Aesthetica did a beautiful job on the fibers. They feel soft, but they don't feel as if they're such a, a um, thin denier where there's going to be a lot of issue with the heat friendly fibers. Usually when we have a very uh, silky and, and wispy type of heat friendly fibers, they tend to dry a little bit more, but with a with a bit thicker of a denier, I think they're going to hold up better. Also with this length, I think it'll be perfect. Now, please be aware that on the lace front, we do have some knotting on this color on C-Kiss RT4 because the RT4 indicates the darkest brown root. As you can see, it's the darkest brown. Therefore, we do have the knotting. However, Aesthetica did a nice job adding some of the lighter fibers on the front, but we still have a little bit of the knotting. I think it's done nice camera and quite a bit. I don't think anyone is going to stand so close to us where they're going to see that knotting. You know, or look at us at, under a magnifying glass. So if you just wear it that way, it'll be fine. And this part, it's wide enough where we can move it around a little bit if we wanted to, to do that, as you can see. We have good coverage. Here is the ear tab and my very low hairline, which, you know, I don't care about. The measurements on Brighton, we have a bang of six inches. That's what Aesthetica is saying. My face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters. However, we do have the this is not six inches this is much less this is probably about a four inch because my forehead is two and a half inches so there you have it and there is lots of layering here we have sides of seven inches but once again we have layers because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get the style lots of layers on this bob the crown is five and a half inches, the nape is nine and a half inches, and it only weighs three and a half ounces. Very, very light style. Now, I'm going to add a picture of here of my friend Eileen. She was kind enough to, she sent me her picture of Wren from Aesthetica. That is in regular synthetic fibers. I don't have Wren, I've never had it, but Eileen sent me this, I asked her if she would send me a picture and if she would allow it, she gave me permission to use it in my video. And on, as you can see, they're very similar styles. The difference is that on Wren, we're going to have a front of 10 inches. So it's going to be a longer front. The crown is 11 inches on Wren while on on Brighton, it's five and a half inches. So right off the bat, Ren is going to be a lot longer. I'm not feeling a high density at all on Brighton. I, it weighs three and a half ounces. So we have a nice light density here. Overall, I think it's a really, really pretty style. If you like these wavy bobs, if you are a friend of heat friendly fibers, if not, if you do not like heat friendly fibers, then you may want to consider looking at Wren. It's not exactly, or at Sage, also not exactly, but it's kind of like in the same style family. If you love heat friendly fibers, I think this is really, really pretty. The color Sea Kiss RT4. In Caramel Kiss RT4, we have that base of a dark brown. It is the darkest brown before we go into the black. The highlights are a coppery blonde. Really pretty, very well distributed, at least on this sample that I have. Nicely going through. If you want to tuck it, you can tuck it. That's really cute. Add a headband to it. I have one that matches. Could you believe that? Yes, I went and I, I went on Amazon and I purchased a bunch of headbands. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. I'll leave a few extra fibers hanging on the side. I think we could do a little bit of a half up and half down. I think a 
a bigger clip would work a little bit better, but you get the idea. I feel the lace could have been a little bit thinner, but it doesn't feel scratchy to me. However, a lace has to be exceptionally scratchy for me to uh, come on here and say this lace feels rough or feels scratchy because I don't have a sensitivity to that. But just something for you to keep in mind that it's not as soft as some of the others. But I also like that they kept the permatease to a minimal and they really formed the style with the layers instead of adding a lot of permatease, which a manufacturer can go either way. They could add a lot of permatease and add less fibers or add a lot of both. But I think that Aesthetica really did an, an outstanding job adding keeping the permatease minimal but yet adding the volume with extra a little bit of extra density up here and then keeping it a lighter density towards the bottom overall i think it's a beautiful style i might have to get this in a silver sun or something let me know what you think i would love to hear from you do you like this style what do you think about aesthetica's new heat friendly fibers i know i know that many don't like it, but please remember, I am not the designer. <laughs> I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.